Today, we're looking at the Opro 9 Smart Light Socket. So first, I want to say thank you to Iris at Opro 9 for sending me to, uh, to check this out. Um, this is an E2627, so standard light bulb socket. It is Wi-Fi based, and unlike one of the other, actually the only other product in this, uh, in this category, um, it actually has dimming capabilities, which is kind of cool. Um, this is definitely not for everybody, but if you've got that lamp that you just love for whatever reason, and you want to make it smart, and you maybe you don't want to put in, you know, a Philips Hue and invest in that entire ecosystem, maybe you just want one smart lamp. Well, this is a great product that will uh, will help you out there. Let's take a look. As you can see here, it's clearly marked Wi-Fi and Apple HomeKit. So there is absolutely no question as to what's in the box. It's a smart socket. And no question as to what this is going to work with. Apple HomeKit. Right? So this is uh, Wi-Fi based. Um, it's really clear exactly what you're getting here. Right? It's made for Apple TV. Right? It is a light bulb socket. And uh, you can't be much more clear than that. So let's get into this thing. As you can see here, it is um, totally sealed in plastic. It's pretty tight. And um, getting the box out, it, it's actually packed in there fairly well. There's no shaking around. Uh, you can see it's kind of, I have to pull it out a little bit, which is exactly what I want. Um, you know, th this is, there's a lot of smarts in these things, a lot of electronics. And you don't want this thing um, bouncing around. You've got that nice little on off button there. Uh, Opro 9, right? Um, let's check out, there's some instructions in the box. So I didn't find anything in the box yet, so we'll go looking for that. But what I did want to point out is the um, do a size comparison against the Kugi light socket, which is kind of the competitor to the Opro 9. So the Opro 9 has that dimming capability, um, which the Kugi does not. So the Kugi is a straight on off. Opro 9 actually allows you to dim the bulb, which is a nice added little feature there if you're into that. All right, so you can see here, this is about as easy as it gets. If you can screw in a light bulb, you too can have a smart house, right? That's it, you screw it in, you've got that little button on the side there, and now you have the ability to add this to your Apple HomeKit Smart Home, which is gonna give you the ability to um, either you you know control it on your watch, on your iPad, iPhone, and even voice activate it using Siri, which is always nice. So we're just gonna screw this in here and apply power. Let there be light. Okay, so let there be light. There we go. So we have to push the button on. So when you first turn it on, um, realize that the light may not come on right away because it's in an off power state, which is okay. So one thing I did want to point out here is if you actually look in the box and pull out, there's a little insert. And within that little insert, there's a little pouch where the documentation is there. It is absolutely in the box, just, just hiding a little bit, which is okay. A little hide and go seek never hurt anybody, right? This is my first time using the Opro 9 accessories, first experience with them, so I had to download the app. And of course, I'm gonna to have to give it access to my house data as well as my location. So the location, they're pretty clear in the docs and on the website, is gonna be used for doing location-based automations. They need to know where you are to be able to set up that automation, right? So if you go in the top left-hand corner there, there's that the little, the, the bar, which is kind of the menu bar. So I'm gonna be able to access either settings or um, my home, I've got a couple different homes set up. And then in the top right, there's that little plus button, and we're gonna tap on that to be able to add our first Opro 9 accessory, which is the light socket. And you'll see here, this is a uh, standard HomeKit setup, right? You flash the, uh, the HomeKit code in there, add accessory to network. This is a Wi-Fi based accessory. So now as part of the, the process, this is gonna push the Wi-Fi settings using the wireless simple configuration WSC protocol of whatever Wi-Fi network you are currently attached to. So you gotta make sure that you're on the network that you wanna be on when you add these things in, right? That's just one of those things that we have to be aware of. So this is gonna take a few seconds. Um, IU9, there we go, all added successfully. The Wi-Fi settings have gone over. That was actually really simple. Um, it's not unusual to have to go through that a couple of times with the HomeKit set up to get the Wi-Fi settings over or even to flip over to the Wi-Fi um, in the Apple settings to be able to push your settings that way, All right? So I'm actually quite impressed with this. This is, uh, this is cool. All right, so Opro 9 light socket, I will name it something meaningful and then I will go over to my office so we can find it just a little bit easier. 
So for those of you who have seen kind of my office and some of my videos before, you'll notice that the office here has a lot fewer um, devices in it, right? So it doesn't seem that they've got the door and window sensors or the air quality sensors, but what's kind of cool about the, the Oprah 9 socket, which, you know, I told you guys about before, is you've got that brightness, which the Cool Geek does not have. So that is kind of cool is we can turn it on, we can turn it off directly, and then we can dim up and down, assuming, of course, that your light bulb is a dimmable type. This is a fairly new product, um, but I do want to always go and check to see the firmware, right? So we click on settings, firmware updates, Oprah 9 light socket. I'm going to click on that start button and we will see whether or not there is a firmware update available. Um, you know, I love firmware updates. And it looks like there is not. So this review would not be complete with a little look at the Apple Home app. Um, you can see here I got a lot more accessories. That's what I was talking about. The, the temperatures, the motion sensors, you know, all that stuff that wasn't in the Opro 9. We do have the light though, right? And yes, you can see this is just a standard home kit, up and down, brightness, right? You've got all the standard home kit stuff, which is why we love home kit. Feels familiar, it is familiar. And that brings us to the end. What do you guys think? Is this a product you would consider using in your house? Is there an old lamp that you might want to uh, smartify? Let me know in the comments below. Likes, always appreciated as our shares. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, check in the video details below where you will find a coupon to my Udemy course. Thanks.